Hello, my little munchkins, prongs, and sunflowers. I'm back. You know, I told you that I was going to read on Toni Braxton because I just had this epiphany that she was suffering with um, survivor's remorse and that she got that stem put in and that that's just got to be heavy. It's heavy. And like she said, she's been sick a long time. And she doesn't understand why it's not her, why her, and why not her sister. I, I get all of that, but also for her to break down like that, that just let me know that it's deeper than that. Guilt. Guilt. You know, maybe she couldn't have been there. Maybe she wasn't as there as maybe she wanted to. Maybe clearly she loved her sister. Mm -hmm. But it's like, but I can't show her now. Because she said, I can't fix it. I can't bring her back. I can't, I can't. It's like, you know how sometimes regret. I can't fix it. I, I wish I could have done this, that. And sometimes when things like that happen or when someone is passing before us, we become very busy or, or distant because we don't want to deal with the pain of it. So it's best to avoid it than to deal with it. And then when it's all said and done, then, you know, a year you're struggling and you don't understand is that remorse because you wasn't there or you didn't do this or you didn't do that. But the best way to get over that feeling is to know I was where I needed to be at the time. That's just where I was. That, that's just where my mind was. That's where my heart was. That was the best of me at that time. That's just where I was. I couldn't show up for no one because I couldn't even show up for myself. That's the way your body sometimes deal with dramatic things or stressful things or death. It's, it, 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 it can do weird things. And then after the person is gone, because we bury it so deep inside, we have a part of us, we're so magnificent that we regenerate because we operate on energy, electricity. So it's like, as long as we get in that chart, it could just let us keep moving. And because we keep renewing, we bury things and bury it and then two years later you don't even know why and that's where I saw Tony in a place where she just said I can't even fake it anymore I, I can't even hide it anymore it was a beautiful thing and yet she spoke volumes about the soul so with that being said, I'm going to, I want to know, is it me? I'm going to put a card out for Tony. Do she have say a cut? You know what's what? I want to know, do she have um, survivor's remorse? I want to know. Thank you. You're out welcome. to you, yes. And here we go. Mmm. Sword. Very strong. Very, very strong. Very, very airtight. Very, very airtight. In other words, very focused. Very strong. Uh, very, uh, not easily moved. This is air at its purest. And its finest, it's it's air, and it's holding its victory. It's at its warring. It's the beginning of its 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 perfection. Am I making sense? It is perfection, and this is what's representing her. It's like perfected, perfected focusness, perfect to be able to work through things, to be able to think your way out of something, to be able to make what's nonsense, what is not nonsense, to make something that is nonsensical, sensical. 
to be able to think because that is what swords are. They are about the optimist of thinking, the frequencies. And this is what stands in for her. Excellence. And did I not say it is not like her to break down? Steel, hard, not movable, but yet a victory, a victory leaf, a victory wreath over her head. To a heart, what is it? Mm. I see here the heart. You see, eight means move on. But Instead, for the hearts, the, the before, the card should be moving outward. They are moving on. She's still holding on. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yes. See, the card should be like this. Mm -hmm. But that's not how they showed up. Mm -hmm. They showed up like this. That's in reverse. So it's like instead of her moving on, she's, th she's stuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's on her head? What's in her head? This is the kicker right here. What's in her head? What's there? Mm -hmm. Will of fortune. Mm -hmm. When I think about the wheel of fortune in this capacity, I think about I'm willing to do anything to be free from this. I'm willing to do whatever it takes not to harm, but I'm willing to say what I have. I'm willing. It's like I'm willing to do whatever it takes to be free. I can't because she said I can't even fake it. I can't. So it's like the will of fortune to just do it. I'm sure she didn't mean to do it because that is her coming unraveled. For someone to have it together, she became unraveled. I was sure shock because she's so well poised mentally and to see her break down like that and how they ran to her rescue beautiful thing and over top of her head is the wheel of fortune but we're going to get more into this so this is the wheel of fortune and that's where it is it's like she had some terrible news to tell them all at the same time and what she's saying my life right now is all i think about is my death my life is the wheel of fortune uh. I knew I was feeling her. Mm. 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 To live with every day, to know that this stint is in me, to know I could have died just like that, the reality of it. They're saying to me, I can't work no more, and I'm stuck again, but this time it's different. I can't fake no more. What is she going to do? Mm -hmm. What a right hand, what a right arm, what a right arm going to do? What's going to do? Lovers. Mm. What, when I saw lovers, I lied to you not. What I saw lovers, mm, itchy. Okay. Saw my two boys. That's what I see. Her two boys. Like I, I can't leave them. Like that's her anchor. Her two boys. My two boys. They need me right now. My two boys. Her pride and her joy. That's what I saw. What a powerful anchor. And then her accomplishments. What has she accomplished? Or what does she need to accomplish? Mm. Two cards showed up here. So I'm going to say this is the first card that I saw. Mm -hmm. 
So that would mean to make sure that they don't be hungry. I want to make sure I got enough when my boys don't have to suffer. It's like I know what it's like to have, and now I see temperance. I know what it's like to have. I know what it's like to have, and I know what it's like to lose. I want to make sure that I leave my boys. This is real for her. I want to make sure that my boys, that I leave my sons in a place financially where they'll be okay in life. And now with the thing of, that's my accomplishment, that's what I waver, but that's my accomplishment, is to be able to give it. I'm wavering because of my sickness. Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I don't know, I've done it, I don't know if it's enough. I, she's up against, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know about my own sickness, what it's gonna cost me, this and that. Did, 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 did I work enough? If I should let it go, she's up against that. This is what I'm feeling so strongly. But we'll find out. But I definitely see temperance. And I see that the, the, the balance of it, because that's what she's working for, that, 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 that she don't ever, that she'll be able to take care of herself when she's old and take care of her kids. This is why she says she worked the way she do. Her kids are her motivation. And she's single. So it's like, I got to do it. They got, I got to be that, that. I get it. I get it. I get it. So with all of that, what is the block with Tracy? What's the block card? Oh, reminiscing. She can't let it go. It keeps playing in her head. It's like, it's like like that holding on. She hasn't been able to let go that that deep feeling inside that it could have been me. It should have been me. Why, why didn't it? Why I'm living? Why is this happening to me? Why not my sister? She was good. I should have did more. I just just all of that. All of that. Let's do those corners. What those corners supposed to tell me, baby, from? Um, about how the energy is being influenced either directly or indirectly. Yes. The mm -hmm. corners represents how the energy is influencing you. So here, when I see here, when I'm taking it from the left, and that's me entering in. It's like financially you feel as though no matter how much you work, you haven't done enough. It's like I haven't done enough. And it's like I need strength. I just need more strength. In other words, I need time. Let my body be able to be strong for a little bit more time. Can I borrow time? I need strength in my body. If I can keep my mind strong, will my body be strong? I just want to just take and just do a little bit because, again, lacking that balance, the temperance. That's what I see the energy is. Also, I see the energy from the hermit. It's like you're running from yourself and running. It's like you're running away from something but just to run up against yourself. It's like you're running looking back. But what's right before you is the hermit. So whatever it is that you're running from, you're seeking it at the same time. You're running, but you're seeking you're running with all of these thoughts, all these crazy thoughts, all these could have, should have, would have, and might have, and all of that. All of those thoughts are all of that negative frequency, that 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 guilt, that 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 not wanting to let go. Feeling you could have done more, you could have done, you couldn't have done nothing. It is what it is. 
and, and whatever that is coming up against your mind and telling you likewise, that's what you call a lying spirit. Why? Because you know that's where you were. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, even if you was hating on her at the moment this all happened, that's just where you were. Baby Cone, do I make sense? Yes, you do. So I see right here, you're running, you're looking back with all these thoughts just to run into the seeker until you make your peace. Make your peace with this. Make your peace. It wasn't you. It's not your time. Why her? Why? Why Tracy? That's a good question. Now, I'm going to tell you what I see. <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly. Now, this is what popped in my mind. Okay. She finished her work. It was done. As a matter of fact, I feel as though she completed her task. Isn't this the nine? Yeah. Isn't this the one where the woman that has it all together that have 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 gotten everything that they ever wanted and more and 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 now sitting back living a life of privilege like I did this? Mm -hmm. This is what she did it. And do I not see the cup saying I'm moving on? Yeah. Do you not see it? Let's see. Okay. If I have it right, tell me. Yes. Moving on. It's right there. I can't make it up. Finished it. It was all psychic blow. It was hard. It was hard. It was hard for her. This was hard. You see her here, but she's still standing. She was still standing. At the very end, still standing. A good fight and left and accomplished her dream. She did it. She did do it. And she left emotionally. She did not want to leave, but she finished her job. Is that not a nine? Yes, it is. It's not a nine, a number of completion? It is. Is this not a nine? Yep, another nine. Is that not a num number of completion? It is. Okay, and does the knights don't have numbers? That is also correct. I right, rest my case. Cards are speaking. Mm -hmm. Speaking of knights as well, you also had the number nine, which is the hermit. So. Right there. Mm -hmm. This. So do you have a question? Yes, my question is, will Tony Braxton be able to forgive herself? We see a hope card. I don't know what this means. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what I have. I have the hope card. I have the three of wands. And I have another knight. This time, the knight is rushing inward. So, but for me, it would be like this. Yes. That's how it would look to me, okay? How it would look to you, but that's how it looked to me. So when I see this, I'm saying, this doesn't make no sense to me. But then I have to look at it another way. So I'm gonna have to go diagonal. And so I see here is a nine and here is a three. And I see here that what would that have to do with this? Okay. Still lived long enough to accomplish her family. It was time to move on. 
even here looking out at another life at another way just looking out it could be whatever you want she's not looking here she's looking directly at us so technically they would be looking at each other but the way that the cards are it wouldn't be that way mm -hmm. right yeah so i and then we got the hope card when you hope what is hope hope is when you doubting hope is when things look bleak hope is when you're like i don't know what to do right mm -hmm. it is. so if i take hope and i take number three and i say hope and i take number three and that is looking out in the world saying it's time to move on it's time to go on it's i've done all i can do it's time to go on i'm at a three which meaning that is a foundation not a strong foundation but it's certainly a foundation with mother and father and child you know father son and holy spirit it is a foundation in that three in that holy place but to be a foundation on the earth four is better yes yes it so is. i'm saying if i'm having to break down why would the the night show up dashing as if why it just seems to me if i'm hoping on one end and on the other end and in the middle i'm like just looking out and then on the other end, I got these negative thoughts and being reckless and telling, what is that saying to me? That um, somebody is trying, well, it seems like somebody is on this the This is cycle. Tony, we're talking about Tony yes, right now. Yes, Tony is. To the question you asked, you remember your question? Yes, I okay. do remember my question. What was the question? Talking about will she be able to forgive herself? And I see that she's hoping and trying to, and because we see the hopes hope card but with that knight of swords there it seems like she keeps running back to that idea that keeps her from moving forward it's something that keeping her bound here it's strong it's a stronghold too whatever it is it's strong because this is the ace mm -hmm. you know and whenever i see the number seven that means seven deadlies in my book and so when I come over here, here, when I ask about Tracy, she had a peaceful transition. Mm -hmm. Here, when we talk about Tony, it's like she's looking out, unable to release. I think this is a despair. She's in the spotlight. And I think she's just suffering with despair. Okay. And her own mortality. That just flew out. And I think this is warring up against her mind. However, she clinged the hope. She's clinging the hope. But these thoughts still war up in her mind. Mm -hmm. So right here, I want to know, will she find the result? Like for real, will there be a result? Mm. Okay. Okay, let's see, because this is what matters. I got to go the way. If I'm going to go and I want to do my corners, because that's what I put it out for. So if I'm going to do my corners, I'm coming down. It's, this is just heartbroken. Just heartbroken. She's just grieving. She's just grieving. But here, I see... I see also this is somebody who also count their accolades and know who they are and got the tenacity and the strength to be able to overcome anything. Their ego, her ego, I'm, this is very strong. This is a very strong energy she's dealing with. But her ego is something about her, about this nine that is saying emotionally, I will win because on top, you see it's moving. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? So even though the grief and having to let it go, because you see right now, right in the center, this is she's grieving right now. She's not over it. She's not over it. And maybe this is what she needs to really, maybe the public, I don't know what it is, but I see you. You see her. Yes. And I see the grieving card. There's no way around that. That's what I see. So with that being said, so we know that this, so let's say, should we be concerned because of this? And I can't get a straight answer like I want. Should we, is Tony's life in danger? Yes, that's a good one. Okay. Now, I see a number six. Okay. Now, when I see a number six, I see pentacles and I see, let me tell you what I see. So when I see the number six, I see the pentacles and I see a man with the scales. And scales always means about justice, right? So I see the man with the scales, but I see that he's feeding the poor or he's feeding somebody he know, whatever, whatever pop in your mind to me, giving from what he has, mm -hmm. right? Which leads me back to over here and over here where I said it pops up again. It's Tony. It's about Tony. Will Tony stop working? Or is she going to do the wheel? Okay. Is Tony going to let it go? Or is Tony going to push the wheel? She's thinking about this is weighing her down too. Mm -hmm. This is where she holds the chalice in her hand and had to maybe give it up because of her heart. It's up to her. And this is a dark time for her. So if I had to look at the, cir the circumstances and now read my corners, I can see she's just in contemplation. I can see she will be victorious. But I think that it's going to become a sacrifice where Tony is going to have to give up her career. Okay. Of traveling and singing and putting that kind of stress on her heart. And I think that this is a thing that is weighing on her. Am I right about that? King of Queen of Pentacles, very positive card. Yes. Yes, I'm right. And she just had to know that she did all she can do. And sometimes you could think you never get enough. Like I never have enough. I never have enough. And maybe what you have is enough. And maybe you have to downsize. Or maybe you have to cut back. But enough is enough. I feel as though she may feel as though she doesn't have enough. But the cards are saying you have enough. I like that. Yes, I did like that. So I do think that she's definitely suffering with some kind of... Um, 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 survivor's remorse, but I also think that weighing Tony down is Tony's own mortality that she's dealing with. This has been a very strong and very powerful time for her that she's dealing with her own mortality and what she did. And it's so funny that her sister, when her sister did, but it's so funny that when you think about it, they all had boys. Other than Tawanda had a boy and a girl. Hmm. Tamar had a boy. Um, Trina had a boy That's and, and Tracy had a boy and Tony had two boys. Okay. So, so, so yes, I do. And I think that this is a very dark night of the soul that she's going through right now. And as far as Trina, I do believe that she'll be able to let that go in time. Once she'll be able to make, make peace and make sense about her own mortality and living on the blink that any day I could have died and it could have been me. She's Until she's able to heal from that with some grief counseling or whatever, she has to heal from that. And that's why the cards are vague. Because if she doesn't change her lifestyle, she won't be here either. She's going to have to make some choices. That's what my cards say. 
I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe. And if you already subscribed, please give me a thumbs up. You know I need it. You know we're trying to get up there. We're a long way from it. But because of your help and your support, we can do it. Please support me if you like this video. Leave me your comment. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. And so with that being said, I don't have anything else to say. You have anything to say, baby girl? Um, no, I do not think so. I don't think so either, other than I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed this video. Wow. It's a lot to be said about grief. And with that being said, sunflowers. sunflowers.